All right, guys, it's always a good day when we get to check out another G-Shock. And in this case, we have a special limited edition. Here is the part number. It is a G7900 SLG using the module 3194. Comes in this awesome packaging. So this is a nice oversized box with some great artwork on there. It also comes with this, which is going to explain what the limited edition is. You're welcome to pause that and read that. I am not going to explain it because I don't know anything about it. Didn't care to research it. Yes, I know I catch a lot of grief over my lack of research on certain models, but the content continues. So what we're dealing with here is just a special edition, limited edition of the standard 7900. The regular 7900s are around $99. You can get them on a regular basis, hundred bucks. This one, shockingly, wasn't like a huge increase in price for being such a cool limited edition. This one's only 130 bucks. They're long sold out, but it's a series. And I'll show you when we do the backlight, um, if you complete the series, the whole set of this run, then you'll have uh, a full spelled out word with the backlight. We'll cover that in a minute. But measurement on the watch we were looking at, if I measure from the mode to the split reset section here to here, like if I'm fair about it, not measuring the crown guards or anything, it is 45 millimeter. If I measure the full width, so 45 here, full width here is like 49. The about lug to lug of the case would be 52 millimeter. The thickness is 16 and a half weighing it at 68 gram. So yes, G-Shocks are larger watches, but they wear super comfortable because of their lightweight nature. And also anytime you find a G-Shock model with these little wings here, these are gonna make it super comfortable. It keeps it planted in the right spot on your wrist. And I'll show you that in a minute, a minute as well. So um, the battery in this, is the CR2025. You're going to want to know that because the battery life is about two years and you're going to have to change it out. Not a big deal. Just kind of remove these wings, remove this plate, uh, you know, clean the gasket, put the battery in, put the clean gasket back in, and you're back up and running for another two years. Not a big deal. The 3194 module in this is also low temp uh, capable, meaning that it can operate all the way down to negative four degree Fahrenheit. If we cycle through the functions on this, you can see it's on 24 hour time, but you just click the mode. You have time uh, tied in lunar graph on this one. You have your stopwatch. There's two stopwatches. I don't know why we would have two different stopwatches. That's interesting. You have a countdown timer, you have alarms and world timer, and then back to your regular time with it displaying your day of the week up there and then of course the month and the date so you have all the information you need this is actually a very easy to read simple g-shock i think this one works really good with the red tones the black and then of course the gold for the on the uh, the fish there and the ornament printing on there and then the darker red on the band so that is just a closer look at it, guys. So if we zoom back out, we'll take a wrist shot here on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see how this looks on wrist. Looks, feels, wears great. Yes, like I said, G-Shocks are larger, but this is one of the good ones in the sense that you can kind of see what those wings do. They fill that otherwise gap because if you didn't have those, there would just be an air gap there, and I think the watch wouldn't stay as planted. So in this fashion here, it just stays really planted. There's quite a few models that have that wing feature on there. Interesting, they went with like a rose gold color too on the buckle and tang. Almost matches the plastic hardware, the gold there. If that would have been all metal matching that, that would have been pretty cool as well. All right, let's kill the lights, and I want to show you the backlight on this because it's going to display a letter, and this is the first of the series. So the backlight is just this button in the center here, and you can see it is a G. There you go, if you get the right angle, it's a G. And if you collect the whole series, the next one would be an S, and then an H, and then an O, and a C, and a K, so it'll spell out G-Shock. That's pretty cool. 
to have the whole set and then the backlights actually spell out the letter. I don't, that's not going to do you any good, but it's just a collector type thing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Keith for allowing me to check this out and share it with you guys. That's what makes this channel work is watches being loaned in because I don't own all these. I don't buy all these. I know some people think I do, but I don't. The majority of them are not mine. Thanks for watching.